Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy having some fun today exploring the outdoors. You know I love that and I want you to love it too because you can find some really cool stuff. And today we're actually at Riverfront Park here in Billings, Montana. I think one of the premier parks in the, in the city. Beautiful place. And obviously you can see behind me we've got kind of a little wetland pond area and we're finding a whole bunch of stuff. And I want to show you an animal that I love but they don't belong here and they can cause some problems. I don't know if you can see them or not but right behind me kind of hard to see but there's a little patch of green algae looks like seaweed and right in the middle of that there's two little eyeballs sticking up that's a bullfrog that's no bull I mean it's a bullfrog and what he's doing is he's watching me because he doesn't want me to go and eat him so he's keeping an eyeball his eyeball on me now the thing about bullfrogs here in Montana in Bellings, you're not supposed to be here. They're an invasive species. What that means is they don't belong here, and problem is is that they are pushing out native species, native frogs, and they're causing a real problem. There's so many bullfrogs around that the native frogs, they can't find any food because bullfrogs, oh, they're like big bullies. They're big frogs. They eat a lot of food. They can push other frogs out of the way, and so unfortunately, they can cause a real problem. Now, like all frogs, however, that aside, frogs are pretty important animals to us because they are what we call environmental indicators. I think I've told you that before. So basically they breathe through their skin. So if there's a real bad thing in the air, first animals that uh, are affected by that are these frogs. And if so frogs start dying out, which they are in a lot of parts of the world, we know there's a problem. And so frogs can be important for that reason. Now the thing about bullfrogs is that a lot of people like to eat them. They eat their legs. Have you ever eaten frog legs before? Ugh. Doesn't really appeal to me, but a lot of people do like them, think they're a delicate and bullfrogs can actually uh, be eaten quite a bit by folks uh, for that reason. But if you're out and about and you're exploring the outdoors like this, listen for them. Because bullfrogs, you cannot mistake their call. Really cool, real low sounding, and uh, it's a pretty neat sound to listen for. Again, you know it's summertime when you start hearing these bullfrogs. And if you ever, ever had the chance to watch these guys do some hunting, tell you what, despite the fact they shouldn't be here, they're incredible little hunters, and they can actually catch fish, they can catch little animals, and every now and then they've even been known to take uh, like a baby duck, things like that. I mean, you're talking crazy hunting. And the biggest bullfrog ever found, or well, some of them I should say, can be close to two pounds. That's a big frog. So look out for these guys. Look out for their big giant legs, their big, of course, webbed feet, allow them to swim. Maybe you can even see one of these guys when you are out and about exploring the outdoors like I am doing today. So until the next time, guys, come on out to Riverfront Park. Maybe you'll see me out here. If not, come on out to the zoo and uh, check out some of the wildlife we have at the zoo. Until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy. See you real soon.